Good morning. I've been taking a break from my videos and going out. Um, that competition I did with the storage guys kind of kicked my butt, but I finished all my packages. It ended up being over 700 items from the weekend, including the Storage Wars competition, a few lingers from my Etsy shop, my 30 Epic Thing sale, which by the way, I'm going to do monthly now. I think my next one's scheduled for July 21st and Jocelyn's Paperweight Train. So I'm pretty worn out. <laughs> um, I don't have any content lined up, so it's just kind of day by day. Uh, I know that once I get to Ohio at the end of the month, I'm gonna work my little butt off again. So taking it easy on myself. That being said, we always see each other at Antique Crossroads in Hagerstown, but we never see each other next door. This is Beaver Creek, literally next door. So I think I decided to uh, get out and enjoy this beautiful weather, stretch my legs, see what they got. Let's go in. Really pretty buckles. I love the Art Nouveau bookend. Looks like she was supposed to be a lamp maybe at one point. Not sure about that. Oh gosh, my camera's all messy. Now I'm also noticing these. Those are gorgeous, but what I've never seen is actually this. These are insane. They look extremely expensive, uh, expensive, <laughs> expensive, and they are Roseville Blue Silhouette Fan Vase. Uh, it says rare. It's four hundred dollars. I'm gonna put it down carefully. I don't doubt it. In all my years, I've never seen anything like those. Very cool. Some really nice bakelite. I love the twisty one and the black carved. Also noteworthy are the Coast Boda face faces. Looks like, looks like they might be $1.95 each. Definitely spendy, really, really neat though. Okay, so in my head, these are my ideal glasses. I'm obsessed. Oh, I wish I didn't have prescription. Dude, they're $33. Oh my gosh, and they're made in France. Those are spectacular. I wonder if I could well, I'm lazy. I don't know if I would be able to put my own prescription in those. Some really fun egg salt and pepper shakers. Owl necklace. Yeah, I'm kind of obsessed with those glasses. I just got new glasses the other day, though. They're in the mail. I shouldn't, shouldn't do both. Especially because I know myself well enough to know I'm never going to take them somewhere to get a prescription filled, let's be honest. This is one of my favorite booths here because you never know what you're going to find. I love this plastic beaded purse made in Hong Kong, it looks like. $15. That is so fun. And the weird dolls. Giant composition dolls. Let's see, what else do they have in here? Oh, I've got all the time in the world, so I wouldn't mind going through a case or two. Love the, uh, what looks to be an Italian glass ornament. Holy Bakelite. There's so much Bakelite in this booth. I actually think that this is the guy I'd buy off of at the DC Flea. Um, I love all the bird napkin rings. Look at these bookends. Oh my gosh. Those are so fantastic. The detail in those are great. And then behind me, beyond noteworthy, are these Bakelite radios. Oh, this one though. There's something about that one. Dude, I'm not kidding. Look at all this Bakelite. These are uh, brooches made from old buckles. Oh, it is the guy, because I almost bought that seahorse necklace. That's so funny. Wow, oh. Yeah, I almost bought that. I think he said he'd do like 250. It's so cool, but it's so fragile, I'd be scared to wear it. I love the uh, two-tone carved Bakelite bracelet too. The one up top is really fun. Wow. Yeah, oh, duh, the big DC flea. It's right there. That's so funny. I won't be able to make the summer one. Uh, I'm gonna be out of town that week. That is so cool. Some really wild pottery and art pieces in here, glass pieces whatever this giant gold thing is. It's actually this kind of 
crazy iridescent base in the back that strikes my attention. And this what appears to be cigarette box. That's really different. And over here, it just keeps going. Looks like a nice arrangement of some couple bohemian glass pieces. I love the yellow one. What do they have on that? 175. Yeah, that's definitely full retail. That's I mean, but they're such great pieces. Really awesome. Airplane hood ornaments. Oh, that startled me a little. So cool. Oh my god, look at this. Wow, Van Brickle nude. It's huge. All right, I had to move away from that booth. Um, kind of distracted by the birds that seem to be trapped somewhere in here. <laughs> Maybe it's outside, I don't know. Um, yeah, that booth was amazing, but a little out of my price range for sure. I love the uh, Japan dog bank. I've had this one before. Really nice Amberina goblets. Well, this is a fun ashtray. The kind of bathing beauty on top of the playing card. $38, that's not bad. That's about what I have bought a few of my um, risque ashtrays for. for oh, dude. Oh, I hate that you can't see the price. You know what that is? That is a really hard piece to find. Um, George even said he's only seen it once. I've seen it twice, but only one complete. And the one that's complete is mine. It's a um, military hat compact. They sell for really good money. I wonder, wonder how much that is. I might have to get a key for that. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else in here. It's a little bit overwhelming. I love that hair comb. That's amazing. Okay, so I did end up seeing the price on it. It's $95. Uh, they sell for about $145. That is if it's complete. Um, so it's a little bit much for me to have invested in it, I believe. Although it's a really special piece. I don't see a discount sign. And um, I just think it's a little, a little high for resale. This is a neat piece. Look at this purse. That is so fantastic. Oh my God. With the velvet and the ormolu, the little pearl buttons. That's pretty special, that's at 45. Which by the way, if that was for me, I wouldn't think twice. I feel like that's a steal for that. Um, but for me, for resale, I don't know how much more I could get out of it. Although I feel like I could make a couple bucks off of it because it's so good but it is definitely more of a niche item. Talking about special compacts, look at that one. It's like a zip compact and it's got the glitter. That is such a mid-century piece, $50 again. If it was for myself um, as a collector, that would be a no-brainer. If we sell, it's a little bit right on the money. Some really fun pieces look a little Bakelite Scotty Dog uh, pencil sharpener. What's interesting about these is actually the size. How cool. I feel like I never see them in this miniature size. Is it 125 for both of the pair? I think it's each. That is so fun. They look like little rocket ships. I don't really do earrings. They don't sell that well for me. This vendor has some really fun ones. Look at the Lucite ones with the shells and the glitter. Those are really pretty too, but it's those that are the win for me. Also pretty awesome is this vintage hippopotamus perfume holder. It probably smells, um, otherwise I would take a better look at it. I've had a few like that before, mostly in the owl. Um, I think it's listed at 24 on the tag, but I'm not trying to deal with anything that has residual scent. That is pretty awesome, that little pillbox with the inlay. I'm trying to get the price on the micro mosaic frame here. I see Moody Mary. Moody Mary 39, yeah, that's about what those sell for. She is fantastic. Never get tired of seeing Moody Mary. Whoa, insane amount of bohemian glass. It's these that I really like. Those are 120 for the pair. And of course, again, with the kind of blood effect, I like to call it. 
really fun box, unfortunately. It's missing its uh, lid. What is that up there? Is this open? Oh my gosh. That made me nervous. What is this? Chipped. Well, I don't know what it is anyway. That is so crazy. It almost looks like pottery. Czechoslovakia. It's $50. How bad is the chip? I've never seen something like this before. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's a shame. Wow, what an awesome piece. That is insane. That oil painting is pretty spectacular. Lennox cats. Some really fun mid-century lamps. What is this jug? Rocket fuel. How freaking cool is that? I've never seen something like that. Um, the painting's probably contemporary. Uh, really well done, though. Oh, I love Santa. This is an interesting pairing of vases. They look fun together. This is the one I really like. Raymore E. Batosi vase. $37. That's really fun. It reminds me of like, well, like a cartoon watermelon rind. Can we take a minute for this lamp? Oh my God, tell me it turns. Oh, this is amazing. Yep, music box table lamp. So I guess it spins. Wow, that is actually a work of art and worth every single penny on that tag. That is so cool. I've never seen something like that. This is a fun little vase. Oh, it's kind of hard to get excited about anything after that. This owl, I feel like I've seen him before. In Africa, like a raku owl, he's fun. The tiger, I've had that one before, shocker. Yeah, it's been so long since I've been here. It's kind of fun to just take a walk around. Oh, this is cool. What is this, hull? Yeah, hull, $34. I've actually never seen the ashtray. That's neat. Definitely noteworthy is the Peter, Ma uh, Peter Max clock. That's cool. Oh my God, look at this color. Fenton Irides uh, Rose Magnolia Diamond Point. God, that's gorgeous. It's almost like a periwinkle. I'm not sure why. It's not usual style. I'm kind of being drawn to this. Is it hand painted or transferred? Really pretty. Definitely unusual. Put that down carefully. I'm dying over this dress. Oh my gosh. Oh. If that fit me, I'd be wearing that right now. Ooh, little sugar textured angel lamb. Is it repaired? $15, that's a good price. I feel like they're always repaired when I see them. Um, whoa. Three late 1950s, early 60s cat veneer art pieces. $400 set of three. So cool. <laughs> also noteworthy are the Swedish pottery owls. It's $120 for the pair, $60 each. So neat. Love that uh, Scandinavian style. More of the cast metal nudes. $4.95 for the pair. Whoa. This is an insane piece of furniture. Oh my god, I don't even want to know. Yeah, that is fantastic. The shape of that is everything. Um, here's something interesting. Look at this giant Murano paperweight. I mean, for size, like, I can't see how much it is. I've actually gotten a couple things from this case before and they haven't been crazy. I'm kind of curious. Um, the fact that the tags flipped over makes me believe that someone looked at it and was like, nope, and put it back. Because all the other tags are flipped over. But let's keep seeing what they got in this case. Oh my god, that green pottery dog. That's amazing. I think the winner is actually this. This guitar clock. 
It's insane. It's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I just have to know for my own peace of mind. Getting the key. So the paperweight was at 140, which I honestly think is more than fair. Um, it's this clock though, I can't stop. It's $75, all the woods there, the strings are there. There's something really special about it. I think I'm gonna try and at least try and figure out what it says on the face of it. The fact that the beveled glass is there is, I don't really do clocks, but there's something, there's something different about that. I'm seeing ones like that clock that are insane on the sold prices. That's neat. Definitely contemporary, not what I thought. But uh, the longer I'm in here, the more I'm just like, dude, just get the clock and get on with it. Oh my God, it's still here. 3.45. Oh, I love that stupid thing. <laughs> I actually had this amazing French wax one. I got uh, like literally the first week I started reselling. I had no idea what it was. I was just excited. This is not wax. This is like a mannequin, but uh, I had no idea what it was and I was so excited. I got so many messages on it. I put it on Facebook marketplace. Some girl offered me 200 bucks and I almost fell over in my chair. I was so excited. Come to find out she sold it for like 600 something. <laughs> now I know. And honestly, it's one of the only things I kind of regret selling. Um, I wish I still had it. If I found another one for anywhere near the price I got mine, I would hold on to it. That's neat. Little miniatures. I don't know why, but I still... Oh, that's neat. That looks Italian, that perfume bottle. Definitely don't want to ship that. I don't know why. I just cannot let the clock go. Oh my God. Look at this wild thing. <laughs> I decided to go next door. I did pick up that clock. Uh, it was $75. It just was really cool. Um, definitely early 1900s. Now, some people aren't a fan of the collector's price geared towards collectors, I should say, mall. Me, personally, I love it. It's my favorite, especially because when you do find something, it makes it more exciting if you get a deal. Two, you never know what you're gonna find in these places, which I guess is true for everywhere. But I decided to pop next door. I'm at Antiques Crossroads in Hagerstown. Let's go in and see what they now, got. It hasn't been too long since I've been here, so I'm not sure how lucky I'm gonna get. Although I will say, the Flamingo for $25 it's a pretty good price. How about that? And it's definitely the one thing that sticks out. I always like to look for the one thing that's out of place in uh, in the booth. I'll take that for 25 bucks. Here's a nice little paperweight. 45, that is gorgeous. That's so funny. Uh, I saw this last time, I almost got it. <coughs> the paperweight sale it's having a hard time focusing on it what is it robert held can't remember karg that's what it is karg really doesn't want to focus on it it's 35 dollars and 15 percent i deemed that a little bit close check out this one this is a giant Eckhold. 98 that definitely wasn't there the last time i was there 70 dollars and 15 percent that is a good buy it's not my favorite thing though. You see the little Tiffany salt glass, but it's this Murano bottle, the Murano mini bottle. That's insane. It's very expensive. It's also hard to see behind the glass through the camera, but that's gorgeous. But yeah, that bottle is what takes, takes it for me. Oh, look at you. Antique mother of pearl pitcher, 170, 50%. God, that's so pretty. Yeah, unfortunately at 170, I don't think I can do anything with that. I love that quilted pastel look, but that's expensive. That's so pretty though. Some really interesting little tinies, a little clothes in a duck. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, how sweet. I've been, I've always had like a thing for miniatures but I feel like it's been magnified recently. I'm obsessed with miniatures. Although I, I shouldn't say it's like a new thing because usually all my stuff that I keep is miniature. What is this? 
beautiful Murano multicolored hand painted trinket dish, twenty six fifty. That is pretty, isn't it? It's unique. It's very different. I wouldn't um with the latticino. That's really unusual with the the flowers and the hand painting. It's definitely unusual. I could definitely make a couple bucks off that. It's really different. I was looking at the mirror. How did I miss this? Look at this English candy tin. That's a really good one. Yeah, forty-four dollars. That's such a great tin. Wow, I've never seen that exact version. If I ever see these Horner tins with the characters on them for cheap, I always pick them up. What's this little vase? Is it flashed? It looks like it's flashed, maybe. That is nothing. It's really cute, though. Oh my god, my heart just dropped. It was just... <gasps> no way! Okay, so I have one of these that has not pennies glued on it um i got it at the heart of ohio it's my favorite thing ever this is so good these actually are really spendy um i think well not really they're definitely expensive they sell for around um 55 to 79 dollars 36 bucks i think there's a discount too yeah 15 percent. that is a no-brainer Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show Jeff. It's Jeff's favorite thing I have. Um, my my boyfriend, he says it's the best thing ever. Dagny found it. I actually have it on my nightstand. It's so great. All right, let's check the price just in case. I love the quilted look. And 65, yeah, they're not wrong. That's so pretty. Look at this one. As is neck. Oh, it's repaired. That's still so fun though. Look, it's a little llama planter. Two dollars. Well, that's cute. I'll take that. That's a really good deal. <laughs> like really good deal. I've never seen this size. Usually they're larger. How neat is this box? It's like a cardstock with Bakelite knobs on it that is so fun insanely beautiful murano style tree not sure if that actually is murano um definitely in the style of if not what is that one the clear with the flowers that looks like something i can't make out what the tag says it's definitely got a certain look to it. It's uh, It says bittersweet glass signed by the artist, 1988. I'm not gonna get it out. It's not really my thing. Um, it is pretty though. It kind of has that like Lawton style to it, even though it's not. It's still super into that Fenton yellow vase. I think that thing's fantastic. All right, this is the booth I'm really excited to get to. There's some really neat stuff in here. I found that copper uh, enamel over copper catfish in here. It's one of the coolest things I think I sold in that sale. Awesome lucite lamp. That's interesting. Yeah, they have really unique stuff. This is definitely unusual. <laughs> Vintage pottery figural vase. Interesting. What are those? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, I'm actually a little nervous to open that. I think I'm going to go in this way. I know you can't see what I'm looking at. Oh, it's one piece. That's interesting. How cool. Made in Canada. Huh. What does the tag say? Oh. <clears throat> Sign Pottery Canada, $15. That's it? Hillborn. Hillbomb. It's really neat. It reminds me of the Van Briggle onion style. Just for your own peace of mind, uh, I did look up the Hillbomb piece, and it looks for like they sell for around that. Um, although that one was pretty awesome. A little Turkish bowl. I'm assuming it's Turkish at least. I always think those are so fun. 
I always love digging through this uh, bracelet things. Look at these, the little miniature millefoy. These are really fun. They're only like a dollar or two each. Let's see what else I can find. Yeah, these are really fun though. I'm definitely gonna grab these too. Well, I ended up taking my time digging and I found some really great stuff. I think one of these I will probably keep for myself. But look at the little minis. The uh, Millefiore. I found this awesome vintage clamper with the stones and everything. That even might be wise. Four bucks. Now, I don't do rings usually, but these are really fun. And for a dollar each, I wasn't going to really think too much about it. They look like sober owl. I'm not sure what they are, actually. No, this was a good find. Really nice. I wonder if that's sterling. I don't think it is. Look at this compact. $25 Fifth Avenue compact. That is gorgeous. Oh, love it. That's really good. And this looks like Whiting and Davis. $25, yep. Wow. That's so pretty. It's in really good condition too. Now that's cool. Mid-century modern metal enamel vase. 35 before discount, what's the discount, 15%. That is totally rad. All right, well, I found some fun stuff, mostly jewelry, although somehow I walked away with a big old box. And uh, not sure if I'll see you guys tomorrow, but I'll definitely see you soon. Um, stay tuned, uh, stay tuned for Ohio. What else is coming up?